السلام علیکم دس از صبر خان اینڈ دا ٹاپک فار ٹوریز لیکچر از اسپیکٹرو فوٹومیٹری فرسٹ وی ویلکم ٹو ورڈ دا ڈیفینیشن سو دا تکنیک وچ از یوزڈ ٹو میئر دا آپٹیکل ڈینسٹی اف دا سسپینشن میٹیریل از کالڈ اسپیکٹرو فوٹومیٹری فار ایگزامپل وی ہیو اے سسپینشن میٹیریل اینڈ وی میئر اٹس آپٹیکل ڈینسٹی دس ول بی کالڈ دا اسپیکٹرو فوٹومیٹری ناؤ وی ویلکم ٹو ورڈ دا آپٹیکل ڈینسٹی دیٹ واٹ از آپٹیکل ڈینسٹی which is denoted by OD, optical density. Uh, optical density uh, has three definitions at least. So, first number definition, change in the percentage transmission of light. How much light is coming and uh, towards the suspension material and how much light is transmitted from the suspension material. This change is called optical density of that suspension material. The second one definition, the ratio of the light falling upon the material to the light transmitted through the material. How much light is coming and how much light is transmitted. The ratio of these two light intensities is called optical density which is shown by this equation. Intensity of incident light and intensity of transmitted light. So intensity of incident light divided by intensity of transmitted light is called optical density. This is the most, uh, okay, and now the third one definition is ability of a substance to resist to light. For example, suspension material must have the ability to resist to light. That how much light is absorbed, how much light is stopped here at this suspension material and how much light is allowed to transmit from this suspension material. So this ability to absorb or resist to the light is called spectro, uh, is called optical density. And this, this one point is more important that cell mass is directly proportional to optical density or you may say that solute concentration is directly proportional to optical density. When the solute concentration is more, that suspension material has the more optical density. And when the solute concentration is less, that, solute cons uh, that suspension material has the uh, less optical density. There are two examples. For example, this one is juice and this one is water. So in juice, incident light divided by transmitted light and we know that uh, in juice solute concentration is more as compared to water. So when the solute concentration is more, more light will be absorbed and less transmission will be there. So incident light divided by less transmission, for example incident light is 100 candela divided by uh, transmitted light for example in case of juice is 50. So this will give uh, an answer which is 2. 100 divided by 50 is equal to 2. For example, this value is more as compared to this one. So more value means more material are present in the juice. And now we will come towards the example which is about the water. That incident light divided by more transmission because we know that there are less solute concentration in, in water. So less light will be absorbed and more light will be transmitted. So incident light divided by more transmission, for example, 100 candela light is coming and 90 candela light is transmitted. So this value is less as compared to this one. So less value means that less material are present. So this one, when this one has more material and more value, it means that more optical density and less value less material means that less optical density. Now we will come towards the instrument that what sort of instrument is used in the spectrophotometry. So spectrophotometer is used. What does the spectrophotometers do? It measures the amount absorbed and transmitted. The amount of light absorbed and the amount of light transmitted that will be measured by the spectrophotometer. What sort of principles are used in the spectrophotometry? So, Bayer-Lambert's law is 
used in the spectrophotometry, which states that the amount of light absorbed is directly proportional to a concentration absolute and thickness of a solution. Means that when the solute concentration is more, more light will be absorbed, and when the solute concentration is less, less light will be absorbed. And when the solution thickness is more, more light will be absorbed. And when the solution thickness is less, less light will be absorbed. Now we will come towards the result. That one will be the result of spectrophotometry. So absorption spectrum is mostly the result of spectrophotometry. Absorption spectrum shows the amount of light absorbed. For example, this one is the absorption spectrum. It shows that here at this point, more light is absorbed and here at these points less light is absorbed okay now we will come towards the diagrammatical representation of spectrophotometry for example this one is light source which is a bulb that will emit the light collimator is present there which is a lens that will focus the light on the uh, monochromator which is a prism this monochromator a prism uh, will divide this light in seven different colors which are with the R. Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red and each one of them has its unique wavelength. So there is wavelength selector which is a slit that will select the wavelength and that wavelength uh, and that one light will be passed from this slit. And keep it in mind that this prism moves like this. So each one in turn will pass from this slit. For example, this red wall will pass after that. This will be stopped. These more will, uh, the rest of them will be stopped and only one is passing at a time from this slit. But after that, uh, but after some time, indigo will pass and the rest of them will stop. So in turn, these all are passing from this slit. And this light comes towards the solution which is present in covert. So when light enters in this uh, solution, this light is called incident light which is coming. And this light which is transmitted from this suspension material is called a transmitted light. So intensity of incident light, intensity of a transmitted light. This light is bright as you can see and this light is dim. Here is a detector which will detect that how much light is coming, how much light is transmitted from the suspension material. And a display is connected to this detector which will display the result. So we can easily measure the absorbance of this uh, suspension material <coughs> when, we subs when we subtract the value which is displayed here from this incident light. Incident light minus displayed light equal to absorbed light. Okay, after that, uh, come towards the uh, components of spectrophotometer. So a spectrophotometer is composed of two um, instrument further. These four are collectively called a spectrometer and these two are collectively called a photometer. And this spectrometer and photometer are collectively called spectrophotometer.